what it do, what it do. Welcome back to the Chisel for the Whistle, baby. What it do, what it do, what it do, Half and Jay family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. It's your boy, Half. And your girl, Jay. And we back with, with another, another reaction, reaction video. You did. I did. All right, so look, we're about to get into another reaction. Because once again, y'all kept y'all side of the bargain. So we'll keep our side of the bargain. So let them know who we about to react to. Bill Burr. And what's the comedy skit called? Motherhood isn't the hardest job. Motherhood Ooh. isn't the hardest job. I, I think there's a lot of jobs out there that's a little bit harder than motherhood yeah, myself. True. You know what I mean? So, but we're going to see what Bill right. has to say about this right. thing. You know, right. he's going to make it funny as hell. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we're about to get into this. But before we do, everybody that's out there who has not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Yes. Turn your post notifications on. Yes. Like and share this video. Yo. Oh. Disappear on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then bounce back. <laughs> and then comment down below, baby. Down below. Come and join the squad, <laughs> man. Half and Jay. We over here kicking off what? Good, Good vibes, vibes, baby. Good vibes. <laughs> Boom. All right, so look. <laughs> Let's get into this. All the links will be in the description below. Go grab y'all some merch. Links will be in the description. We have like three or four different links down there for merch. So go ahead and be nosy. Go take a look at it. Shout outs going to be in the, the video. Right. I hope y'all ready. Let's go. We'll get y'all beers. Cheers to everybody out there. Good vibes, yes. try. You feel me? Let's get it, baby. How are you? Fantastic. The other day I got in an argument with my girlfriend, right? She likes watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. And then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out on my girlfriend, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> so, Oprah brings out this guest, she gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. <laughs> so immediately I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet. How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? <laughs> Any moms right. get washed overboard on deadliest catch? <laughs> I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but what would you rather have as a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? You send them to bed anytime you want and some trumped up charges. Because you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? That's my show. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. Right. But evidently... Evidently, these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players. Going to war, pinned down by a sniper. What a joke! <laughs> you ever burp a baby and forget to put that towel up there? There's another shirt you gotta wash. Oh, lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. Hey. It isn't. Hey. Yeah, the hell with these mothers. <laughs> Watching cartoons, taking naps. <laughs> Look, I'm messing around, but you know, come on. I know it's a difficult job, but the most difficult job on the whole planet. Remember when Saddam let the oil fields on fire and those poor bastards had to go put them out? 4,000 degrees. Walking in with your little asbestos shield, just walking into flames. <laughs> You want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. Hey, that's real talk, though, man. It's a lot of hard jobs. Not saying that being a mother isn't a hard job. Right. You know what I mean? Because it is a hard job. It's but hard. It's a lot of other jobs that's out there that's a lot harder than that. Right. A lot of other ones out True. there. You know what I'm saying? So... But shout out to all the mothers out there who's definitely doing their thing, though, man. So, yes. shout out to y'all. Yes, you feel yes. Me? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I got a dog recently. I did. I went down to the pound. I got one of those free dogs. Yeah, that's how I say it. I don't say I rescued a dog. 
hate when people say that. It's like totally obnoxious. It's a complete exaggeration. She's a rescue. Yeah, I rescued her. Really? Did you pull her out of a burning building? Did you jump in a river with your clothes still on with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Isn't that what you did? Stop acting like you had to take out a couple of guards, crawl in on your elbows, using hand signals. Dude, you ever go down to the pound and they're just giving them away? They don't even do a background check. You want them? Eh, get out of here. <laughs> Who's next? You want a poodle? Come on, you got a pound. They'll be hilarious. <laughs> Actually, my, uh, my girlfriend got the dog when I, was, uh, when I was on the road. I was on the road, she got the dog. Classic girlfriend move, right? That's just a 10 to 15 year commitment. Why would you include me in that decision? What would I need to know? So we're Skyping. I thought she got one of those little shit dogs, you know? Like a Yorkshire Terrier or something. You could punt across the room if you got out of line, right? <laughs> something you could take your day out on. You know what I'm saying? And Why is it that y'all always trying to make the decision sometimes without the man, though? Like he said, it could be 10, 15 year relationship. You know, I don't even know about that. Just, you know, y'all just go off and go make the decision. It's a surprise. Uh, okay. <laughs> but what? We don't want the damn dog. I mean, it, it was the thought that counts. Right. And we just figured you guys would want that. By the way, y'all, Jay don't really like dogs like that. You know, <laughs> every time we be out, if y'all see her face expressions, man, I promise you. Y'all, if y'all laughing at her laugh, y'all see her face expression oh, when we out and see some gosh. dogs, boy, I'm telling you. Did you just really say that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. She is funny. I'm telling you, don't be in a restaurant and a dog could be in the restaurant. Oh, we ain't eating there no more. <laughs> <laughs> Something you could take your day out on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> So we're Skyping. I go, let me see it. So she pans around. And I think I'm going to see, you know, some little, little... Chihuahua, whatever the hell those dogs are. I'm, I'm immediately staring at like this hellhound. This just massive dog. And it looks, I start freaking out. I'm like, is that a pit bull? Please tell me you didn't get a pit bull. She's like, it's not a pit bull. It's a mix. <laughs> mix with what? Another pit bull? Look at that thing. <laughs> it's like it's been doing pull-ups its entire life. Its front paws were still taped up and shadow boxing. It's got a teardrop tattoo. It's a pit bull. What more do you need to see? Oh, it gets worse. Her and a friend actually didn't get it down at the pound. They found it by the Los Angeles River. Yeah, this thing was the real deal. She's sitting there going, it was out there for 10 days. Don't you think that's sad? No, it's scary. Because judging by its physique, it got plenty of protein over the last week and a half. It wasn't eating nuts and berries, all right? It was choking out joggers. It was twisting heads off of rabbits. You brought a murderer into the house. Just rescue an alligator while you're at it. Stick it under the bed, add to the excitement. <laughs> you know what's great though? I fell in love with the dog. Absolutely love this dog and I'm totally sold on the breed. And I know a lot of people don't like pit bulls because they ate a couple of kids. I understand that. <laughs> I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself at some point in your life to walk down the street with a pit bull. You gotta do it. It's tremendous. People just get out of the way. Away, they see me coming, they immediately start crossing the street. I love it. I feel like a king. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's awesome. Yeah. Black people have no idea how difficult it is as a white man to have to walk down the street every half a block, have frivolous conversations about the weather. Oh, I'm mad thinking it's gonna rain. Why? Why do we have to have this conversation? No, it's tremendous. I like the respect. Look at me. My whole life I've looked like Ron Howard. You realize that? My whole life I've been mugged repeatedly. I've never had any street cred whatsoever. The second they see this four-legged P90X body coming down the street, that's it. It's the best dog on the planet. You gotta get a pit bull. I'm telling you, man, it's like a gun you can pet. Get two of them, come down to you, just strapped. All of a sudden, there's no line at the ATM. You like, it's just the whole world opens up for you. All right, let's wrap this up here. I, uh, I had lunch the other day. Uh, I'm a big time conspiracy theorist. I drive my girlfriend nuts. 
You know, I think they're about ready to microchip all of us. Yeah, they got this commercial down in the States, you know. They, you got that commercial up here for Duracell batteries? They're selling batteries and the commercial is some woman can't find her kid in the park. That's how they're selling batteries. The hell kind of way is that to sell batteries? Do you remember the old commercials? They just show some guy in a rainstorm, has a flat, pulls out a flashlight. Oh, thank God he had Duracell. You can see how wet I'm getting. That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's sitting there going, Kevin? Kevin? <laughs> Has anybody seen Kevin? Sitting there freaking out, then she pulls out this little device. Beep, 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 beep. And there comes Kevin running out of the woods. And they're like, Duracell batteries. It's like, dude, the hell with the batteries? What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? He didn't have an antenna. His sneakers weren't glowing. What the hell is in Kevin that's connected to that device? Don't just show me that like that's normal. Oh, yeah, robot kid. Hey, let's go see mommy. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, man, that's what I'm talking about, man. Motherhood is not the hardest job out there. There's a whole lot of other jobs out there that's harder than that. Right. You feel me? Right. Huh? Yeah. Do you feel me? Yep, I okay. feel you. <laughs> I can name a couple of them myself. But, uh, like, and again, nothing against the mothers, man. It's all about jokes. So I hope y'all ain't taking nothing personal. You feel me? Because that's what comedy is all about. Don't be taking nothing personal. You dig? But we hope y'all liked it. Smash that like button. Once again, get it to a thousand likes. We can do another Bill Burr for you, baby. Let's get into these shout outs. Okay, first shout out goes to Sean Paul FW. What's up, Sean Paul FW? What's going on, Sean Paul FW? Thank you for being part of this Half and J family, man. Yes, we appreciate thank that. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for being part of the Good Vibes Tribe. Yes. Hope you come back and join us for the next reaction, baby. Yes. And second shout out goes to Jess Nicole. What's up, Jess Nicole? What's going on, Jess Nicole? Good to see you out there. Thank yes. you for joining your half of day family. Thank you so, so much. We appreciate you being part of this good vibes tribe, too. Yes. You know what I mean? So, once you uh, come back and join us for that next reaction. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> she mad at me, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, we love y'all, man. Peace and hair grease. Peace. But like we always say around this time, if you feel like you're having yourself a negative day, tune, tune in, in to Half and J. We'll catch y'all in the next reaction video. Yes. Peace. Peace.